All right, Jay Hood. How's it going? Good, man. Good. As good as I can be doing under the circumstances in this world right now. I'm good, though. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, man. Don't worry. You know, I know you always doing your thing. Always got some interesting insights to everything going on, man. There's a lot going on in Chicago right now. Yeah. You know, with Amen. the uh, FBG Doug murder trial and everything. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, I think the biggest news to come out of this is that just recently, uh, Trench's News took the stand and testified. Man. Trenches news. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. So, and and that's everybody. That's y'all man's who, like the the thing about with trenches, bro. Like even with him testifying, I'm confused on how he can he testify. Like I thought, wait, you had to be a part of uh, the crime in order to you know actually be a liable witness. Other than that, it's hearsay. So I'm kind of confused on that for real, for real. But uh, I, I think it got a lot to do with. They probably watched a lot of his videos. I don't know, like, the point is, when did he start blogging? Because they say he was kind of a long-time uh, well, employee or whatever federal uh, witness for a long time. So I'm just wondering, did he start doing YouTube after he was working with the feds or while he was doing YouTube? Was that when they came and started questioning him because they seen him to be somebody that was, you know, uh, that had a bunch of information as far as the, 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 uh, the uh, you know, what they were doing from hood to hood. So that's that's kind of uh, it's interesting to me. But, you know, truly what it what I see with it, you know, I got to bring up dirt uh, because truly. You get two types of people in our environments from where we come from. You get the people who are vessels for us to look up to. Then you get those who are behind scenes and they kind of, they are jealous at the ones who get in the clout. So really like Lil Dirt, us in the hood, we look up to him as someone to be. And through him, we, we get this wicked uh, 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 hope. We get a hope for actually monetizing off of our dysfunction. That's all they do is glorify our dysfunction. And then you get people like Trenches News who they see the dysfunction and not, but they not monetizing off of it the way that everybody is, everybody else monetizing off of it. And so you get those people who they they go behind scenes and if they can monetize and make money off of it, They'll go and tell. They'll go and do the, uh, you know, be an informant for the police. But I don't know. It's just a conflicting situation to me, Cam, because, like, this is how they keep the hoods down. Like, they they give us a, a, a person to look up to and a person, he that person, like, doesn't symbolize hope. Like, look at all the vessels that we got coming from where we coming from. When you think about all of them, you don't think about life. You don't think about peace. You don't think about love and giving. We think about... Uh, the wickedness that they portray. And it's like, we spiritually agreeing with this. We spiritually are glorifying this. Like, it's kind of like what Lil Uzi said, man, if I'm going to hell, then y'all coming with me. He said that because they listen to him. You can't, you wouldn't listen to a devil if you knew he was a devil. So that right there shows, like many people say that they spiritual, but they don't even understand the spiritual things. But with Trenches News, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, I mean, you can see it in just his stories. Like, it's just so chaotic. It's just so, conf it's, it's just a bunch of confusing. Like him being double-minded, man, you know, really talking to me with certain stories and he was bringing certain things to my attention. And I'm like, bro, that didn't happen. This didn't happen. Just unstable, bro. But it sucks. But when you look at it from the old block, they, the standpoints of the dudes that he is actually testifying against. And y'all like, do y'all really respect to receive good for being evil, like it's kinda, that's hypocritical. Look what we doing in the hoods. And the, like this is supposed to happen. It's supposed to be backdooring. It's supposed to be uh, um, unloyalty because we are literally walking together in sin. All it is, is is just different paths of sin and they make it look good. So therefore to the, to the flesh, you think they getting money off of it. Like people operating and doing what trenches do, wanting to be a blogger, but what are you doing? Steady putting that 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 those those wicked frequencies back over into the ones which is affecting what you're doing is de desensitizing them into their own hurt, their own pain. But but we uh you know uh we continue to do it because it, you know money is everything in the day and age right now. Money is everything. If you can get money, hey.
you can be be that nigga in the hood. They're reporting that he's been an informant for over 10 years, and wow. I guess he helped with a couple cases about 10 years ago. Now, the information he has to provide, I don't think is necessarily... It is to the Duck case, but it's more to the Rico case. Mm. But they did say that he pointed Muwap and everybody out on video from the day that Duck was killed. Mm. So I believe that that's, that's to the extent that he is, you know, involved and used as a witness. Oh, uh, okay. I get that. Now, I, I can understand that because... But like even with that, like is he st like he don't know Muwap them though. Like he say he know them, but like he could say anything because that's what he been saying. Like he know them. Like Marcus is young, bro. He might seen some of them on the past, and but like if I don't know him, I know they don't know him. Like seriously, because he wasn't over there after I got up out of there. You know, after I went to college and did what I was doing, he wasn't known. But. It's just crazy, bro. It ain't no loyalties in the hood. Ain't no loyalty. The same people who we look at to, to glorify and D be the same people be the ones that the enemy be using for, for us to look upon and think that, man, what they do is something that you want to do. It's, it's wicked, bro, but this 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 what they do with the hoods, bro. They, they bring the drugs to the hood. They bring the gangs to the hood. They bring all the confusion and all the dysfunction to the hood. Like, we didn't go get nothing. We don't know where to go get anything. when well, we just came here as slaves. And, and we pretty much just receive whatever they come and put up on us. Like, we ain't had nothing to do with gentrification. They moved to wherever they was forcing them to. It's like, and, and our people, we not understanding what's happening right now in the world. And because we refuse to seek wisdom through the word of God. We rather continuously seek wisdom and understand it through people like Trenches News. And it's just vain. Um, it's just vain, worldly wisdom that benefit us not. Benefit us not in this walk we in, man. That's why we gonna continue to go through the same thing we going through. What do you think about him getting paid $25,000 over the years? I mean, bro, like, if you gonna sell out the people that you claim and love, and, and I know people like, you selling them out, it's like, no, nah, I'm not selling them out. I'm speaking on wickedness. What we doing needs to stop. Uh, we need to turn to Jesus Christ, everybody, not just those who are in the hood, you feel me? But everybody, like, man, I guess the word of God says, man, pay no respect to persons, right? Because a man that transgress for a slice of bread. And that means if I, if I pay respect to people based off of what they got, somebody see that. And then somebody going to go trying to do something just to get that respect. Having like th that respect that you that you was giving to the other dudes in the hood. And so it's kind of like with trenches, it's that it be that money. You know, we start to think that, man, if I could just look like this, you feel me, then then the people will love me. But man, money is the root of all evil for real, bro. And over 10 years, all you got is 25,000, man. That that's crazy. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's what's gonna come. It's what's gonna come, man. It's what's gonna come. You know. One of the things that was kind of surprising to me was they kind of hinted that he moved out of O Block after he had got shot by somebody from O Block. Man, who hinted this? The post? I like I I don't. The thing is, Cam, I know everything that happened up over there. Everybody, like it's one community. Word travels fast in the hood. Word travels fast. Cause people always speak on what they do. People do stuff and they want that glorification behind what they did. And so I never heard, I've never heard him ever getting shot on O Block. I mean, I do remember like the woman that he said he was uh, you know, dating. I do remember J9 Mama having a boyfriend that we didn't know too well for real. I kind of can picture him being there because a lot of people come in and then they dip out. And so, you know, he know a lot of names over there and whatnot. But I don't know, bro. I I don't I don't I think it's a lot of lies to what trenches be saying, man. That's just me. I mean, it'll be good to to see another one of the uh, you know, the dudes from up over there and ask them some questions like, bro, do y'all know him? Like somebody that's been over there for years and still there. And watch they gonna tell you what I've been telling y'all, like nobody know this man. He is not known. Like, again, but just because he ain't known don't mean he ain't see some things. He could have still saw some things and still went through some things and still happened like that.
Well, another name that came up of a person who testified is a guy they're calling O Block Little Dave. They're calling him ex O Block member who was paid to cooperate. I guess he caught a gun charge. Hey. And they're uh, going to help him with his gun car- charge and give him some money. Hey. You know, do you know little Dave? Yeah, I, I know little Dave. You know, he one of the uh, he one of the ones who, like little Dave, he used to come around. He wasn't around too, too, too much, but everybody knew him because of his peoples and whatnot. Big Dave and whatnot. But yeah, I I definitely know him. Like when I heard the name, like he was doing, it, I I was confused because I'm like, what are they having him snitch on? Because like. Was he around that like during that time when that had kicked off? I wonder again, cause a lot of people, when I got up off of the block, you know, when I went to college again, there's a lot of people coming around because O Block was starting to, you know, uh be go viral. Everybody starting to know who O Block is. So everybody kind of wanted to be known as O Block. So it's a lot of dudes that be on the block heavily, that's been on the block heavily, like after Vaughn and Sosa was getting red. But like look that he is one of the ones that we knew for a long from a long time ago, but like he didn't used to be doing, he wasn't with the guys doing certain things. So I'm just, you know, I, I guess they just they can still be used as witnesses because they know the people, they know what they look like, and they can attest to certain things that they may have heard them do or heard them say. Especially if it's a Rico, then they don't need to really know you doing anything other than being a part of the game. And so if that if that's what they doing using them for, then they for sure gonna, uh, it, you know. Um, they for sure gonna be able to complete what it is that they got planned, but it just sucks, man. We ain't got no hope, and they not bringing no hope to the hood. They brought gangs to the hood, and that's what we get hope out of, clicking up in gangs. But then when we clicking up in gangs, what are we clicking up to do? Fight our own people. You were gonna get, we gonna get locked up, killed, or like we gonna do something because what, that's all they brought. They brought spiritual things that make us feel prideful about being black disciple or being old block. And then anybody that ain't black disciple or anybody that ain't old block, we going at them. And then it'd be the people that's with us in old block or whatever hood you in, then it'd be your own homies. Like everybody just selfish, everybody just deceived. And we doing anything for attention. We doing anything to save ourselves. Like it's just not no natural affection, man. Ain't no love for real, bro. You gotta seek that love in Christ because the we continuously being simple minded. We see what the outcome is. They see the outcome. I know it's hard because we ain't got no, no vessels to look forward to to actually like have hope. It ain't it ain't much hope, you know. Um, spiraling around in the uh, you know in the communities where you see people that look like me at, and really the whole world. But for us, it's even more worse because it's like there is absolutely no hope and nothing that's beneficial, bro. Nothing. Well, they say he's been working with them since 2018, and a lot of it, a lot of his testimony is to the, about the Rico. Uh, they're saying he testified about the inner workings of O Block and how things are. He also got paid, you know, over twenty one thousand dollars to testify. They thought you were going to cooperate. Yeah, a lot of people. How do you feel now that things have actually unraveled and it wasn't? You know what I'm saying? And, and I, don't, I don't even think you were ever even contacted, right? Never. They, they know not to contact me because I'm not, I'm not. What I did, what I'm doing, Cam, I'm just trying for, I'm, I'm trying to be a vessel for people to see that, man, you can change. That we don't have to agree and walk down what we see in the hoods, you know? And, and what we doing is in the hoods, it ain't snitching, but it's shedding light on darkness is that we evil. Is that we hate our own people. You, we say we don't hate our own people because we love the people in our community. But we hate the people two blocks down the street that look just like you. We target our own. We go to the, literally, then you go to the churches. We got churches on every block. And then these pastors, they Freemasons, so they literally have signed their contracts not to give us the truth, to tell us that the Bible is about y'all. The slaves who went, uh, uh, who did, wouldn't want to listen to God. And so, yeah, so they thought that the power was in them. The same thing, we so puffed up in pride. We the poorest people, but we the loudest. We the most prideful and we got nothing to show for it. But we the loudest, the most prideful in the world. And, it, and, and it's just confusion, bro. But man, when I saw it all unfold, it's like I told them months ago, whatever in the dark got to come to the light. 
What's ever in the dark gonna always be made manifest. And so it's not that I wanted it to, uh, you know, for, for it's not that I want these outcomes, but it's like if you can see the outcome, then speak on it. And I can see the outcome. We can see the outcome. And it's like, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to detour some kid, some shorties, not even just some short, just detour anybody who engaging into this warfare against their own people, that this ain't the way to go. You're not going to have no peace. You're not going to have no comfort. You probably, Satan probably will use you as the poster boy for wickedness, but how long will your reign be? Not long. How long was Vine reign? How long was uh, PNB uh, uh, rock reign? How, how long is the reign of all these people that's being used to a lot for to trick you. That's all they they sign on the dotted line and they become slaves. The Bible says uh, uh, um, uh, um, a, a lender. Wait, no, a, a debt. Wait, what is it? Hmm. It's a, a lender is enslaved to the. Wait, I can't think of it, bro. It's just like when we are the ones. Um. Ah, have a Holy Spirit. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Because it's one like a slave is it? I can't think of it, but you know, when they sign on the dotted line for that contract, man, they are enslaved to the ones who they signing that contract for. And we don't understand that, man, that contract is, is, is making you a slave. And these people are slaves to being vessels for Satan to operate out of so that we can look at them and have hope. But when we operate in the spirit that they given to us, what hope do we have? What peace do we have? What comfort do we have? None. All affliction, all poverty, all just more hurt for ourselves. That's all it is, but it is, it's just the way the world is right now, bro. And, and, and our people got to wake up. For real. Did you see the video of that little nine-year-old kid who was on Kai Sinat's live stream and he actually, like, just disrespected King Von? No, nah, I ain't see that. I ain't see that. But, you know, they, they be liking stuff like that, Cam. They know it's just going to be views. All of it is, is just gonna be views. It's gonna promote, um, it's gonna promote the views that promote the money, man. And so, like, I, I ain't see it, but I don't be really like hell bent when people disrespect Von. Von, all he did was disrespect people, bro. And, and the walk that I am in now, the Von that I knew, you know, cause he liked me, we was friends. I loved him, but honestly, bro, like he is a, he's a, a, a enemy to to righteousness. He's a, Von is an enemy, bro. Like he is an enemy to what a man should be. Uh, the majority of these dudes that they showing and, and wanting for us to look up to as black men, that's your enemy. That's why Satan ain't gonna promote you goodness. He's not gonna promote you to use the truth, but he gonna promote you the good, the good of the bad. And so what we think, like we know what uh, Lil Durk and them do. We know all these things, but they present the money. They present the change. They present the designer. They present the women. And, and we get stuck on that because we carnal men. We not thinking about the, uh, the wickedness that they doing, we're not thinking about the, the, the spirit of this man, the heart of him. Like, because we don't know spiritual things and we, majority of us, we operating in the same spirit that he got. That's why we walking with him spiritually. Like, and walking with him spiritually meaning listening to his music. Literally, uh, with words, you could either uplift people or bring people low. You're not uplifting nobody with the uh, communications that's coming from none of these dudes from the hood getting rich. None of them. They getting rich because Satan using them to, to worship the body, to, to, to deceive in anybody who want to, um, just anybody who will look upon them, man. Like, man, we dealing with a, a spiritual war, not carnal war. Like, though we are in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh. That's spiritual. Y'all see me, but y'all don't know what spirit that I might be dwelling in. I could look good, but that don't mean that the spirits that I embody is of God. How old were you when you seen guys starting to diss the dead? Was it how how young was it that you seen something like that happen? Well, we started dissing the dead. That started with billionaire black. Um, it, it wasn't even about the dead. They started just like when we really started dissing each other. It was when billionaire and uh E and them dropped that. I mean, duck. And billionaire drop F the other side, and then E Day, no E Day drop F the other side, but they dropped the song that was dissing E Day, uh, Duck and um billionaire, and then E Day dropped the F the other side, and then really right I believe right right and then and there was them them songs right there was when we actually heard people starting to diss people. I can't remember right now in this instant was it was it already deaf. 
maybe, maybe Tuka, maybe a few of them had passed away during that time. I can't really remember, you know, it's so long ago. But yeah, through the music, the music was the, uh, and, and, and that's the frequency right there. Through that, they everybody, not only us, but the whole world started to agree with the death of the black man. And, 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 and it's glorified and it's entertainment. And it's like, these are like people lives, you feel me, actually being portrayed as though it's something to laugh about or something to be entertained about. It should be something that we are all raising corruption about. Like we need, like we need to be marching when a black man kill another black man. We need to be marching for that, but they will only march when it's uh, black on white. But when it's our people doing it, we so hypocritical. Like you glorifying your people dying every time you watch power, every time you share power. What is you seeing? All you see is people that look like us portray evilly. And we agree with it. They portraying us as pimps, uh, gang. We ain't got no substance. All we is is just vessel for darkness. That's all they use us as. It's crazy, but it is what it is until people wake up and see Christ. I don't know, it's, 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 it's taboo to, to talk about God, but people honor and worship man daily. The men that actually are used and signing covenants to deceive you, we worship them. But, but it's taboo to talk about God that created it. Say we worship the creature rather than the creator. Evil. Now, Little Dirk recently released the album with OTF. And on this album, he has a song named Hood Said. Mm. Now, if, if you listen to the song, I don't hear him talking about you or anything that you've said or done. Yeah. But I just thought it was uh, kind of crazy that he actually named the song Hood Said. I mean, he had to have been trolling you in some type of way. Yeah, Dirk be doing, a, he do a lot of sneak dissing, man. And like, it's gonna be the ones who like really, really overly love Dirk. They're gonna be like, he, he just went, nah, y'all wish Lil Dirk would talk about y'all or sneak this y'all. I'm out here to do a job. I am against the spirit that Dirk operate in. Not against Dirk, it's not a fleshly war, but the spirits that he is agreeing with. I'm against that, I'm, a, I'm, I'm against darkness, but that ain't his first time, you feel me? sending slick shots at me. You feel me? One of them songs that he was saying, like, you know, a blogger, uh, basically talking about like he sac sacrificed Vaughn and this and that. And it's like, bro, those with eyes to see spiritually, bro, we can see what heart you dealing with, bro. How many times in your music have you outwardly, I mean, just outright just told what he walking with, but people, they see the outer dirt and they not understanding that, man, you following the devil. Y'all following people who are blind and they know what they signed up to do. It's for money, man. People will sacrifice their kids for a bag. We seen it in the hood. Niggas will turn on their own homies for a couple thousand. We seen it with Trenches News, them. And it's like this money is a God that people would do anything to get it. Do anything there, go against their own family, their own self. Morals that actually keep them, you know, uh, spiritually you know, upright, they go against all that for a bag, for money, because they think money bring peace, but money take peace. Money take peace. The word of God says, those who coveted after money, they pierce themselves through with many sorrows, because once you can't get it, and then it be the same ones be complaining, they chasing the enemy that God don't want you to have. We only want God so that he could give us money. And if God ain't gonna be able to bless you in the world, he like, I'm the blessing. I can do for you the things that money can never do for you. The money is your enemy when you love it more than you love me. And money, money ain't evil, but the love of it is. Is this surprising to actually uh, hear about him being kind of so public with your name? It, 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 nah, I, I think that when they be doing stuff like that, Cam, they hopes be that we'll drop a video or I'll go live and it'll go viral <laughs> and then so that they can monetize. Like, he don't, Dirk don't care nothing about me. I'm not nobody in this man. Like, it's probably the people that work behind the scenes. Like, man, just say something. So he think that I'm going to be, oh, Dirk just dropped the song. Who said the song ain't got nothing to do with me? But he think because, like, I'm going to just be like, I hear that and, and then go go on and just start and trying to make all type of content to monetize off him, which really he started to monetize. And he don't really need my name to uh, do that, but who knows? Maybe some of them videos that we done did that spoke about it, man, people went to go, I don't know. <laughs> Guess if you bring up the devil, people go see about him. Faith come by here, so. Yeah, I, I figured he knew that 
if he named a song Hood Said, we would probably talk about it. Or you, at least you would probably talk about it at some point. Somebody would ask you about it. Yeah, Hood Said, like, no. Not Hood Said, man. God Said. It's two different. You got two different voices. You got the voice of Satan, and you got the voice of God. Which one of y'all agreeing with? Period. That's everybody. Like, words, again, they could be good or evil. We know all good come from God. Which one are we operating in? In your mouth, in your word. What's coming out your heart is showing who y'all are spiritually. What's coming out of you, it shows exactly what's in your heart. Well, NBA Youngboy recently did an interview. And in this interview, he says that the music business is demonic. <laughs> and that, you know, he chose to be a part of it. And they're using him as entertainment but it becomes self-destruction. Mm, 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 mm. And guess what, though, Cam? They love him so much, they they not going to... It ain't even him they love. They love the spirit that he embodies so much. When he tell them the actual truth, they just going to ignore it and keep listening to his music. Because that music that he got feeds the spiritual demons in them. And they not understanding how would you... It says, so as a man thinketh, so is he. So how y'all gonna actually be out there and be men of God? Or I don't even, I don't think people even have a desire to be men of God. I think that people just wanna do whatever they wanna do. But he, he told you, they using him for entertainment. And again, this is what Satan is, the word entertain. The spirits enter you to tame you. That's all it is, to tame you, to make you docile. For you not to think that what they are doing is evil. They desensitizing us to our own death, our own hurt. We glorify camp. We get drunk to it. Some people have sex to NBA young boy. All it is is wickedness. You doing like it's just all rebellion against God, and we understand it not because we will not go and seek the goodness through God. But that's I mean, it's powerful, though, Cam, because you can see a man can come out and tell the truth, and people still gonna follow him. He come out, tell the truth, and they still that's Satan right there giving you an opportunity. You gonna follow me even though I'm leading you to hell? If I'm self-destructing, then don't ain't the people that listen to me gonna self-destruct? God said evil communication corrupt good manners. So Cam, if I'm listening to evil communication, how can I uh, 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 produce the righteousness of God when my heart is only agreeing with death and wickedness? How? But it's it's it's, it's powerful because to those who seek in righteousness, when they see that. They're going to see that and it's going to be an awakening to him like, oh, he really just said this. And that's going to lead people to actually pray more, man, to, to get in the power that is from God that will get you to glorify God. You feel me? It's, the, it's a power in actually knowing what, what spirit is behind a man. That comes from a gift that God will send you in discernment to understand the spirit that these people are operating in. And we don't understand it because we too uh, uh, blinded by the, what they look like. We're too blinded by the chains and the music and the money. And that's why Satan, he produce, he, uh, what he presents himself like, like, he said, but everything that glitter ain't gold, that's that. Not everything that shines is, is good for you. Man. Last time we talked, you had mentioned that you had his number and you guys, you guys talked, you guys were going to talk. Uh, did I you had, guys ever link back up? We, uh, like, what it was, was I got his number from my homie D. Really, I ain't really too much, but the spirit was leading me just to send him, some, you know, send him a few text messages. What had happened, he had called me that night. I was just watching TV with my girl, man. And ever since then, I ain't get him back on the phone, man. I just kind of wanted to get him on the phone, Cam, and let him know, like, you see what Vaughn just happened, bro. The enemy is literally trying to, like, he trying to kill you, bro. He is trying to kill you. He using you for his purpose, bro. And, uh, it's sad, for like I've been searching for the words to say, man. I'm just praying for people daily, bro. But yeah, you know, uh, I got his little number or whatnot, and, and really all I do is I, he ain't blocked me yet, so that's why I'm like, I know he fighting, he won't out, but he ain't got people around. Like they be scared, Cam. When you sign your name in blood, and the devil tell you a lot, like man, if you ever go against me, nigga, you're dead. They don't know how to battle that. They don't know that to die in Christ is gang. We don't know these things. And I'm not talking about the people behind. They don't know that these dudes signing in blood. They don't know the rituals that Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy is doing. Why you think these dudes are actually, when you could tell, 
again, Youngboy is one of those dudes who he was just trying to make a living off of his story. Not knowing that, bro, when you get up to this, this larger, uh, 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 when you reach stardom, that, that right there, it's going to be, it ain't what you thought it was. Like, it's not what you thought it was. And he's seeing that, but he can't walk out of it because he don't know that God love him. Like, for real, people don't know that God love them and wants to uh, show them the power in his word. But if you don't even have a faith as small as a mustard seed, it ain't going to work for you. You got to, man, you got to be willing to pray, be willing to call out on God. For, be willing, be willing to not be conformed to this world, man. This Our soul's on the line, bro. Our soul's on the line. And the sad thing is, it's the people that we love that operate in spirits that don't love us. So then when we love them, you don't know that you loving the enemy because the enemy is using them. <sighs> the enemy using our people, man. Well, recently Mama Duck made some headlines. And, you know, she kind of, you know, made some people mad by what she said, man. And she said that it took four shooters to get Duck out the way and only one to get rid of Vaughn. And she got a lot of backlash for saying this. Ain't they both dead? They're both dead. dead. If it take 60 shooters and 60 bullets and or one shooter with one bullet, the enemy won. The enemy won. I'm not, I, I like, I know she hurt, but Cam, if you hate, then you evil. That's the whole point where it's like, we think we can have a reason to hate people, but that's just a reason for you to, to uh, pacify your own you being evil. God said, love those who hate you. Pray for those who curse you. We ain't got, we don't know God, man, but it's sad because she's, man, she's an older woman, man. Like, and you just see that in our people, they ain't, we ain't got no knowledge of good. But to do evil, we got all knowledge. We know all knowledge on evil things, but... Like my my or you know my whole confusion with that would be Mama Doug. Did we not lose two two of our two? We from the same tribe. We don't know it. We from the same. Didn't we? Did not people come in as slaves together? Last time I checked, we got off the slave boats together. We was working the plantations together. We was all called two thirds of a man or two fifths of a man, three fifth, whatever it is, together. And because they brought a different doctrine to O-Block, and they had a different doctrine in FBG, we against each other because our beliefs ain't the same. What can take us, what can put us all under the same beliefs? Jesus, and not the Jesus that they preaching in this world. That's fake. That ain't true peace. True peace is, is uh, 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 fearing God and walking in his commands. For real. Sin and not. Well, I seen you were on live with AK-47 not too long ago. Man, yeah. We was on uh, 16 Shot em Live, man. How'd you guys get on live? And what all happened with that? So uh, I was, um, like, I, don't, I really don't be wanting to even watch what they be having going, but every now and then I click on some of their lives just to see what they on there deceiving the people with today. Like, what's on their heart today? How they distracting the people today? And so I clicked on 16, shot them live. You know me, normally I only go, I, I click in there and I just, I be just telling people value Christ over your life, repent in the comment section, just hoping somebody see it and then just to think about it or whatnot. Um, and I hopped on there this one particular day and then 16, uh, he said something about me. He's like, Ma, hop on, hop on, hop on or whatnot. And so I hopped on. They was actually on Discord just talking. So it was him. Remo, that's bro who be with uh, No Jumper, who be doing the thing with No Jumper, him, AK-47, and then just like a bunch of, uh, you know, just like a bunch of uh, like like other people who, they not known by the public or nothing like that, but it's just like regular, uh, you know, like regular people who was just really on there to conversate with them and not. And so when I hopped on there, you know me, man, the, uh, the time that we in, man, it, this is all I do. My, my conversation is strictly heavenly. You feel me? I, what, he, what Paul say in the word of God, like our conversation is in heaven. Like I don't talk carnally. So when I got on there, I'm, I'm automatically, I'm tearing down imaginations because AK-47, him, um, I, I, I spoke in the 16 about it so much. Like I'm like, bro, what you doing is not helping, you hurting. 
And but they like, bro, this is the only thing that produces money. This is the only thing that monetizes. And there it go. The love of money is the root of all evil. People will continuously do evil, putting evil back in the world just so that they can make money. And so I went in there. I'm having this conversation with 16 and them. And man, you know me, I'm preaching. I'm telling them, like, man, y'all need to walk away from doing the things that y'all doing, the enemy using y'all to, but y'all not helping. Like y'all not, uh, you know, helping us. How to, even if you was trying, if you're not using Jesus Christ, you ain't helping nobody. He is the king of peace. This is his world. We living in it. It's just so many different people. Um, and it's so many, it's going to be people that watch this. They so filled with pride. They love themselves so much. They think that they know all. And so they deny the one who created all things. They going to say, it ain't no Jesus. And who is you? Why you exist? If Jesus never existed, who are you? Why you exist? Guess what? When you die, I die, the word's still going to be getting preached. That word was spoken thousands of years ago and years before that and made it all the way here. Who do y'all remember from thousands and thousands of years ago? Nobody. But you know the word of God's still here and it's still going to be here after we leave. But ain't nobody paying attention to that. Because it's all about what I want. The word of God suppresses you from chasing after your dreams. That's why they don't like it. They rather ignore that so that they can do uh, what the flesh want to do. Don't know you chasing after your own head. You chasing after your own death. That's what this world is, death. So what all happened on this live? You and AK got into it? No, uh, so I'm preaching it. He, again, the Bible, the, the word of God, because you say the Bible, but the word of God, it literally says that when the word of God, when you use it, it's sharper than any double-edged sword able to pierce through the flesh and through the marrow, which is the bones. And you can see to the heart of a man. And I guess because I was letting them know, like, bro, if y'all don't repent, y'all too shall likewise perish in your iniquity. You feel me? Like, we got to repent from putting frequencies out there that's actually desensitizing and um, not only just desensitizing to it, but it's a form, it's a source of entertainment. When people click AK-47 and then 16 shot them, they not going on there um, to, 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 to hear about what they need to pray. They just going on there for entertainment, dysfunctional. Uh, uh, the way we live is dysfunctional and, and, and that's the entertainment. And so okay. well, what all did he say to you? Oh yeah. Bro? I'm the, about to the, get into it. So when I, uh, when I was telling them that they need to repent this and that, he, he got so angry. He told me that he is, that he is shoot me in my face. No. Ooh, this what it was. I, and I hate that I kind of, uh, said it, but I was trying to show the people on there an example like these dudes be portraying like they actually tough. Like, and what tough is to me is where we could get a little squabble in and don't nobody have to die after it. And so I'm trying to show them I was, you know, I shouldn't have been doing it, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a man in my flesh as well. And so I'm telling them like, man, AK ain't even tough like that. He on here acting. This man ain't tough. Don't nobody know him in no hoods. You feel me? And so he's talking about, and so I'm like, if he really tough, AK, this is what I'm telling him. I'm like, man, let's meet up real quick. Let's, let's get, put the gloves on. Y'all big, y'all big shotters. Y'all be talking all this talk. Let's put the boxing glove on. You got money. You getting all this money from the people, uh, uh, donate and then watch your screen. Like fly out to where I am and let's put them gloves on and let's show, and, 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 and let's like, you know, do a little monetizing boxing for your fans, for your people. And he said, oh, ain't nobody gonna box you hood. Ain't nobody gonna box you hood. I'm gonna shoot you in your face. I'm gonna shoot you in your face. And I'm like, there it go right there. When you, <laughs> our people hate our people. I, like we hate each other. He said he gonna shoot me in my face. All because I'm saying like, let's box if you so big. Cause he was talking to me crazy. Talking like he just talking crazy hood. If you you think that you this and you trying to talk bad on us and it's like, bro, I'm not doing what I'm doing. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this for salvation. I'm doing this so that the folks, maybe anybody with the ears to hear may have hope in Christ, not in me. I can't do nothing for y'all. I can lead you. I could be a vessel of his goodness for you to go to him. But he said he was going to shoot me in my face, bro. And I kept my composure. I ain't really, you know, because uh, I understood that. I understand it's a spirit that we be working with. We be working with that. We be working with that spirit, man. And like, you know, I pray for them boys for real. But like he said, he going to shoot me all because I'm trying to help him help himself. Like, brother, what you are doing for a profession, whatever you trying to call it, being a drill historian, blogger, my boy, you not helping nobody. You helping the enemy. You just don't know that you are, but you are. Now, since our last interview, I interviewed Flame. 
from EBT. Dang. And you guys had an incident over there where, you know, the video came out and you got, you know, whatever happened, happened. But since then, you guys have talked. Yeah, we talked, man. And I'm just kind of disheartened, man. Like, it's hard, Cam, because it's like a lot of people, they want out. But we get a little bit of sense of pride when we do worldly things. That's what the world does. It give you a sense of pride of self. And that's what we pretty much at the end of the day, we seek that over all things, that we are somebody. We just want to be somebody. And so really, man, Flame, you know, I'm only saying that because, like, Flame, uh, like, he don't want to be in the environment that he's in. It's just there ain't no other way for us to actually make ends meet. Like, 16 shot him in and AK-47. If there was a, another way that we could actually, and it is many other ways, but obviously to go out and be a, a hardworking man, that's hard. Rather than just sitting and talking about darkness all day and getting paid for it, that's easy. And But many people just settle for the easy because you don't have to do nothing to go to hell. You just got to live in the flesh. But to want heaven, like, that's, that requires work. But anyway, man, um... With Flame, he had hit me up. He had saw my post about me had, I was asking for uh, help. Not really asking for, well yeah, help, you can call it what you want, or asking for people to sow into me, those who have, might have been uh, inspired by the word of God through me. I was talking about uh, my marriage, me and my girl got engaged and whatnot. And I was just, you know, like asking the people to, you know, to, to look out for me, to help me out. So that way I could like do like a little, small little marriage ceremony, not nothing big or nothing. And he had reached out to me. And he was like, man, bro, uh, the word of God is so powerful, bro. Um, you know, I guess it was like his apology. And he was like, man, the word of God is powerful, bro. I can't lie. Like, send me your you dig. So, you know, he was trying to get a uh, trying to get my GoFundMe link so that he could, you know, support, support the uh what I was asking him to support and whatnot. And so from there, I didn't care about that. I didn't even send him to GoFundMe. What I saw in that that I was more moved by was the fact that he mention God. So that means he must have continued was listening to my videos and it was moving him to a fact where he felt bad about what they did to me to a point where he fake kind of, you know, gave his apology in his own sense. And so we was talking behind scenes and we was getting ready to like, man, I wanted to, man, him to come on your show to have a sit down, but he ended up blocking me. And, and I don't know why, because before he blocked me, he was telling me like, bro, this just let a, uh, it like let a big weight off of my shoulders you know, him and me talking. Cause it's a weight on our shoulders, whether we know it or not. Steady waking up every day, uh, having to live a life where you against somebody that looked exact, like that's a weight on your shoulders, man. Keeping up, cause it's a character. It's a character that we really walking in, man. It's a mask, take that mask off. But many of us wear that mask cause everybody else got their mask on. You feel me? It's a costume, we act tough. But then when we in the homes, by like the true us come out and the true flame is what I was saying was like, he was talking about how his mom, you know, uh, is a woman of God. He grew up in the church, you know, the real flame or, you know, the reverence of God. I wouldn't say the real flame. We are who we are, but you know, he, he understands who God is. Like he understand the word of God and he understands that he ain't living for God. And I think him watching my page convicted him on his lifestyle, so he had to unfollow me because all I do is push the word of God. I don't push anything that one might look at me and say that I'm agreeing with the world. I push the word, the word, the word, the word, and that's all I'm going to continue to push because I'm not, we ain't here for our own, uh, to have heaven now. We here to see if we are worthy for the heaven to come. That's what we here for. Who are you? Are you of the flesh or, you know, through this wickedness of the flesh that you'll see God? And because the flesh gonna put you, the flesh gonna bring you low, chase some money. Oh, it's gonna bring you low. You're gonna be low. You're gonna need God at some point in your life. Hopefully, when you get him, that you see that life is truly with God. It starts with him. And that's the road we need to walk down, and not the road that they presenting to us, which everybody just easily just go down because it's life in the flesh. Well, Charleston White has been going viral again. For linking up with Little Tim. I guess Little Tim is putting some sort of documentary together or something. And he wanted to work with Charleston White. And uh, they brought Charleston White out there, I believe, to Savannah. Hmm. And, you know, he linked up with him. And Charleston White was 
extremely happy about linking up with Little Tim. Extremely. Because he hate. Charleston Charles White is a hateful person. And so he makes it seem as though like he's a man of God. And I will not lie. That man has the gift of gab very intellectually on a carnal level. And, but all of it, he, he is exactly what the word of God says. Raven and wolves and sheep's clothing. That's a raven and wolf in sheep clothing. Because Charleston White, how are you for life? Like, you either for all life or you for death. So if you, like, he even said it time and time. He about money. He about money. And guess what? There's a lot of people who are lukewarm. And so that means that they feel like I can live a good life and make it to heaven. And he is the direct epitome of that. Don't talk about God. Don't talk about Christ. Christ is God. But he always talk about God, but he hates people. What God made manifest himself as sin, right? God made manifest himself as sin to die for our sins. All men, no matter what you look like. So how you, Charleston White, is a servant of God when you hate men? He literally said, I'm, I'm only in this for the younger. I'm only in this for the younger. I don't care about the older. Them niggas could die. Them niggas could die. You speaking about your own self. How you in that age range? But you want them to die. Like, when did you come around to the truth, Charleston White? Because you said you used to be gang banging. I don't know. I think he got a shot. His eye shot out. Don't remember. But you gang banged. You lived that life. And you, uh, um, I wouldn't say you made it out because you, you made, he, he made it out in the sense of what he made it out of the hood. But st spiritually, you still in the hood. But to, to, man, Charleston White is poisonous. He's poisonous for anybody looking for a a good role model because he has the gift of gab. He's intellectual. And what he says make a lot of truth. It sound what he says makes a lot of carnal sense. It's benefiting for the carnal, but people can't see the spirit behind him. That is all about money. It's all about entertaining that Charleston White don't love people. He only seems like to love the younger, but he hates everybody. Like, why do you think he want people to go to jail? Me, when I say it, it would be better for people to go to jail, that's so maybe they can find God. It would be better for you to be in jail than to be dead where you ain't got no hope. The word of God says, seek Christ while he shall be fine. You can't find him when you dead, but while you are alive, you have hope. But man, I got a problem with him because a lot of people like him. A lot of people love him because he is exactly what they are. Right, self-righteous. Not righteous in the eyes of God, but in the eyes of men, self-righteous. And that's exactly what he is. And, 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 and so what he, he hate Vaughn so much, he called Vaughn a demon. But for you to hate another man, then what is in you that hate Vaughn? Because God saw us sinning. He hated the things that we did, but he still loved us enough to make himself sin, to die for our sins. So where is that heart in you, Charleston White? Why are you bringing, like, what he is, is like, you, you keeping people still in self-hatred. Like, that's all he does. He, we taking our eyes off of one group of people and setting it on the next. But it's still hate towards the people. And the war ain't carnal. I don't battle you, Cam. But the, the spiritual world want me to say, man, the war is with black on white. Why? Because if I look at you, next thing you know, because what they promoted and what I believed in my heart, now I think you my enemy. You ain't did nothing to me. Don't know you. Don't know what you do in your lifestyle, but you the enemy. Sooner, Because the say he's playing off of what we don't understand, and that's spiritual war. Everybody say, I'm spiritual, but you don't even understand the spirit that these people that you love operating in, but you're spiritual. You're spiritually deceived, but you are not a spiritual person. Because if you did, y'all would be able to see who NBA Youngboy is, who Charleston White is, who Lil Durk is, who Vaughn is. You would be able to see the spirit that they embody because Christ said it ain't what go into a man that defileth him, but what comes out of a man that defileth him. Why? Because what you say speaks of your heart. And you can see in Charleston White heart that it ain't no love for all people. He don't want no peace for all people. You're supposed to want people to find righteousness. If you didn't know what sin was, you wouldn't know what goodness is. So it benefits us to know what sin is. So then when you get the correction of God, you can't say that you ain't know no sin. And every man going to get judged according to his deeds. And every man going to hear the gospel. You're going to either reject it 
or you're going to receive the love and the peace and the gospel, or you can continue to run after what you see like you don't know the answers that it produced. Death. We see people die, 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 die. We know it's death. What comes after it? We should be asking. What comes after you getting rich and then dying two, two years after, like Vine? He got rich, he dead now. Did you see a U-Haul behind his hearse taking his riches with him? No, but it went back to somebody else. And who knows whether they'd be a, a fool or not. That's what Solomon said. You work so hard to, to live a life, a, a heaven on earth. And in the moment that you die, everything you work so hard for going back to somebody else. And who knows if he going to love those things the way that you loved it. Or he just going to do away with them. They have no, because we identify with the things in the world that makes you somebody. But again, Charleston White is an enemy to anybody wanting to really live righteously. We can't hate nobody. Yes, people mess up. I mess up. You mess up. Vaughn messed up. Vaughn was deceived. This is the world. This is how Vaughn ain't going to go and be what they shown him. That's all they portrayed to Vaughn. Cam, you get all we seen since we come up with 50 Cent. What was he to us? A vessel that says that I can sell drugs, I can rap, and I can get rich and be on TV. I can hate my people, kill, and I can be on TV. Is that not what we see? Look what all these rap, show me one. Don't talk about Martin Luther King, the sellout, Freemason, Reverend, which we should call no man Reverend. Uh, it's, man, this, this world hate us. If anybody got a statue, if anybody is being glorified in this world, Jesus Christ said, woe to you if all men speak well of you. Woe to you. That's, that's Charleston White. All men speak well of Charleston White. He said, because well did they speak of the false prophets. He said he's a man of God, but he's not. You need to repent. You need to repent. We all need to repent. Ain't we dying daily, bro? Is the world not dying daily? It's wars going on in Israel right now, and ain't nobody understanding why. We think it's just for fun and games, bro. It's something spiritual happening. And when you don't get up out of here, don't die, not searching for your love in Christ. The world hate Christ, but they're everybody Christians. Everybody Christians, but don't nobody want to talk about Jesus. So y'all not Christ, but y'all are influenced by the Antichrist which is against Christ while saying that they are in Christ. How? How? How we saying we in Christ, but still walking like the devils in the world? How we saying we know God, but hey, God said this, Charleston White. If you don't love your brothers at which you do see, then how can you love God at which you ain't never seen? Huh? You ain't never seen God. I love him, though. But you don't love the one who he made in his image. Cam, he said he made man in one flesh. Why is there black and white, uh, 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 you know, um, differences? Why? 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 Even with the black? It's just, it's, it's, man, it's too many hypocrites. It's too many hypocrites saying one thing and then doing another. And God said, he said a false balance is something he hates. Saying that you are of God, but you don't have the works to balance it out. Saying I know Christ, but I'm still walking by what I see, what I think, and what I feel. Instead of what his word telling me, because his word gives me peace and his body brings me spiritual torment. Cam, lay down with a woman right now. You're going to feel good. But what happens when that woman leaves you? Now your soul got to make up. Your soul got to pay for what, what God tried to lead, tried to keep you away from. Laying down with a whore. Now you become a whore. Now all you want is to lust after a woman. All you want is money so that you could get that woman that you lusting after. Bro, this world hate us. Why you think they promoting all these women the way they promoting them? Look at them. They know men get caught up by what we see, but we also the leaders. We in fornicate. Bro, we so, we so programmed in our minds, brothers. People don't want to agree with it, but they know it's them. They know men know we masturbating every night, lusting. Uh, uh, we can't even love the women that love us and our homes because what we think of is a, 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 the woman of our dreams is a whore. They have desires to lay down with whores. That's, that's the woman of our dreams, that porno star you looking at, or that celebrity who is a whore, operating as a whore, speaking about whorish things, and that's what we desire because we in the flesh, and the flesh is evil, and it only wants evil. Go be, go get spiritual. I'm talking about spiritual from the word of God, so that you may see. Man, there's too much going on out here, bro. 
I just want to know what y'all gonna do about the trenches news ordeal. Well, I, or not just them. With these bloggers, I really want to know, are y'all gaining? I mean, because you shouldn't even be walking with somebody if they not benefiting you, but they hurting you. Y'all got to ask yourselves, are we gaining? Because, again, you're going to have faith for whatever it is that you're hearing. Whatever it is that you're constantly seeing and looking at, you're doing it for a reason. You're you watching things for a reason because you agree with whatever frequencies is being pushed. So you got to look and say, man, is this something that's what, that's God is with? But many people don't even know what God is with because they will not open up the book that is God with the, the power in the words. Not just saying a book because you can look at the book, but all things is God. Even that book, even that paper, even this water bottle, everything you looking at was created because of Jesus. All of it says he was the firstborn of all creation. And through him, all things was created. <laughs> you want to worship a man? Worship the man that laid down his life for you. you wanna, if y'all want to worship a man, worship a man that laid down his life for you. Have you been following the case at all? You talking about the O-Block 5 case? Yep. Nah, I don't follow it close because I, 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 I pretty much I already know everything that's going on for real. They going to get locked up. They need to be locked up. They need to be locked up. So you believe that they're, they're guilty? Man, Cam, the, the proof is in the pudding. We gonna stop being evil amongst our people trying to... Bro, they, they done, I, I'm not going to come out straight and, and say that they did it. But I believe they did it. But I ain't going to say they did it based off like if I was there or not. I mean, all of it is adding up, bro. All of it is adding up. Bro, an enemy against one of us is an enemy against all of us. We, I'm tired of it. Niggas got to get... It would be better for them to be locked up than to be with Duck at. Duck ain't got no hope no more. It's over with for Duck. He ain't got no hope for life after death. Death is a sign to show you that... Death is literally a sign to show you that life ain't your own. It makes you think, man, what happened at the death? What? That's a sign right there. But man, nah, bro. I, man, them, man, they they did what they did, bro. All of it add up. Man, they caught. They caught. They caught. It's they caught. It would probably be beneficial for Cam for it to be a Rico. Why? So people can get out of the way of dysfunction. It would benefit them if they could just be separated from the one thing that's actually hurting them, which is that block, which is them dudes who they think love them. But these dudes don't got no real love for you, nigga. If you won't help nobody, they ain't got no love. If you can't give them nothing, they ain't got no love. If people can't use you, they don't love you. I mean, you, they, 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 yeah, if the people can't use you, they won't have no love for you. Because we think that love is in only in giving, and that is true. Love is in giving. Charity Man, that's the, ain't no, man, you can have all things, but if you don't got the gift of charity, then you don't have love. But again, we just get stuck in only what you can do for me, what you can do for me, not what I can do for people. Not what I can do, but Cam, bro, uh, how you feel? You think, I mean, based off of the knowledge that you, I mean, man, come on, we, I know how we be, we be trying to like, well, I don't know. It's like, well, if five, six people get locked up and all of the, like, come on, we, it happened. They did it. You feel me? And it's hearsay what I'm saying, but they got true witnesses. One of the guys who was accused of it is Zell Munna, but mm. he committed suicide. Mm. Um, I want to say about a year and a half, uh, right before they got arrested for it. Mm. That, Did you know him? Yeah, of course. That's my little bro, of course, man. I know all of them. Zell, yeah, he's Zell, man. I love them. I miss, man. I. I miss seeing they look innocent faces, man. You know, the face be innocent. Man look on the outer. God say he look on the inner, though. Nigga could look innocent. Uh, but what's behind him? Is that innocent or whatnot? But no, nah, man, I ain't going to lie, Cam. Maybe bring bringing sorrow into my heart, bro. Because one, I be having to get out here and say the truth. And I know people look at me like, bro, you don't got no love for them niggas. All you do is put them down. Bro, I'm putting down evil. All they did was live evil. What I'm supposed to do? Glorify the people that's killing my people? Because, yeah, they might be my homies, but what they did and operated in is the reason why they did and why we did. Well, talk, talk to me about Zelmana a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what kind of person was he? Are you surprised that he committed suicide? Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised he committed suicide. I mean, it wasn't far-fetched for him to live the life that he did, man. He had T-Roy. T-Roy was his, uh, that's his cousin. Man, T-Roy, everybody loved Troy for doing what he did. 
for going against our people, but that gives you a name in the hood that shows the spirit that most of us agree with death. And as long as it ain't us, well, it's cool. And God said, yeah, sinners love those who love them, but God love everybody. He said the rain pours down on the just and unjust. But anyway, good, man, he wasn't one of them people like when he was young, you know, some dudes you be like, man, he gonna be a problem. I think it was that what he saw in them, he wanted to be like that. That's what he had hoped to be because they got respect, Cam. Everybody in the hood want respect. You get women. Niggas ain't going to try you. So we got to go kill somebody for our respect, Cam. We got to go drill for our respect, Cam. We got to go hurt the people that look like us if we want the people that's around us to respect us. Because if you ain't going to go step on another nigga's toes, then they going to step on yours. <laughs> so we kind of be forced to be evil <laughs> because we don't want to stay in the house. But Zell, man... I can't, again, I'm not like, he wasn't one of them people where you just saw wickedness rooted all over him, man. And I thought that he committed suicide because of the girl, but all, it could have been a cum accumulation of all of it. What he did was beating them down with that stuff with Doug and his girl. And all of it was just too much. Now our little bro gone. Then I'm thinking about e Dog. Y'all not tired. Y'all, these niggas ain't even tired of seeing they niggas. They not even tired of seeing their people die. But they saying that I'm the one that hate. That I hate old block. I think it's the niggas that keep doing the same thing, knowing that what it's going to result in. I think you hate yourself. And I think you hate your people. Not that I think, but I know. Not that I think, but I know, bro. E, E, Ezell, Doug, uh, uh, K.I., uh, JoJo. What's the difference? What's the difference? The block. What else was different about them? They ain't had the same gang. Is, is it enough for people to die? Is it enough for us to, like, and then you don't even know where we going after death. This is crazy, but I miss them dudes, bro. I miss them. I wish that they still had hope, man, but I don't know, Cam. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I'm irritated, bro. I wish that they still had hope, you know, in, in, in that body, man, where they could have you know, found the truth for real before they got up out of here. But it's sad. That's 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 all that's in our hoods, bro. That's all that's in our hoods. There ain't no way out but the but a coffin. You mentioned T. Roy. Now, I believe you've talked about him and Chief Keith being really good friends before. Best friends. The bestest friends you could have. Uh, and that's why when uh Sosa, when when Troy did what he did, when he went into Bro Crib. Sosa didn't take that lightly because Sosa really loved, he really loved Troy. He really, even then, you know, uh, no, nah, I think he maybe started trying to fix it a little. After, no, they robbed him after he, after he, I, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, bro, after Troy and them, um, when, when they were in the, ran the folks crib and all that, and probably before then, I don't know what it was, maybe Sosa, you know, um, so I, cause it, it was a divide before Sosa got rich. Cause it was like right before they got rich, Troy and Vaughn started more so hanging together. And remind you, I told you that Vaughn finessed posts from from uh from Sosa, but Troy and Vaughn was always together. So that's probably why Sosa started to you know not hang around Vaughn as much. And mind you, he was getting rich, he was getting the buzz and all that. So he probably saw like bro be with him like I'm gonna only take the niggas with me who I know ain't gonna do too much. You feel me? But they was best, 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 best. Anybody that know them know that. T-Roy, you, anytime you, they had the same hairstyle. They used to dress alike. The two coldest dancers, and it's, it's the two gangsters niggas that they everybody know about because everybody thought Sosa was a gangster and everybody know Troy did what he did. These niggas used to belly roll. It's the, the greatest dance belly rollers I ever seen in my life. But we big gangsters though, Cal. We, we, we stepping on toe, but them niggas used to be hip rolling for real. <laughs> like, it used to be cracking back in the days of the parties, but yeah, they definitely was best friends, man. Close friends. Until it was uh, like, you know, niggas be walking together. Like the word said, can two walk together lest they be agreed? And during that time, Vaughn and Sosa, no, Vaughn and Troy, they was agreeing on what they was really trying to get out there and do. So they started hanging with the big guys because that's what the territory when you really about to be doing all that. Like others, we had guns, but we just got them to look cool. Niggas got them to look cool. People come there shooting the air before they shoot anything because we ain't trying to kill nobody. We just want to look like we gangster. We just want to look like we tough, but don't nobody want to go to jail and don't nobody want to die.
<laughs> Some people might, but. So, Troy was involved with Sosha's house, and yeah. you believe that that's the reason why Chief Keith didn't maybe help him or look back for him? Or I don't even know yeah. if he's tweeted about him or anything. He ain't even really say nothing about him when he passed away. Sosa hated disloyalty, bro. Like, he hated disloyalty, bro. And I don't know, because it's, it's conflicted, Cal, because I was like, Troy and Sosa? Like, Troy and so T Roy and Sosa? You couldn't see one without the other, bro. And so I, it might have affected uh, Sosa. I know, he, I know it don't matter what Troy did, it hit him. But he ain't post about it, bro. But it had to be that. What else could it have been? Them niggas don't be around each other. It had to only be that. Like, I wouldn't, bro, would you be bringing people to your new house after they hit your old house? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I don't care who you is, bro. You done backstabbed me. What if I was there with y'all? Would have killed me if I ain't get y'all what y'all wanted? I ain't, nah, I ain't hanging around nobody like that. I don't care what relationship me and Troy had. That's dead after that nigga ran in my crib. Did Sosa take anybody from Old Block with him? Like Old Block, Old Block? No, no. It ain't not one person that's with him that's was O block, O block, like living on the block, coming out every single day, block hit. He took the uh he took Will. Will say he was from the block, like he lived on the block, and then he moved off, but he went on the block when O block was O block. He was on the block maybe in Wick City for however long he did uh live on the block or whatnot. But uh um he ain't take nobody, he ain't take none of the guys. That's why they was that's why they did what they did though, too. That's why uh like they finessed him and they did what they did, bro. Uh, Cause it was a whole thing too, bro. It was like Whitey died. One of the brothers named Whitey in, and, and uh, Sosa didn't even want to give the bros fifteen hundred dollars. And the bro and everybody was mad at Sosa because they like nigga. We getting into it with the whole world because you going viral and you getting rich. It's unsafe for us to now go Harvey. It's unsafe for us to go to Joliet. It's unsafe for us to go to Decatur. It's unsafe for us to move around because Sosa was glorified. Like O Block was being known. And you know, we all wear shirts to glorify our dead. So man, niggas used to, bro, I almost got jumped on. Niggas trying to get down on me in Decatur. But they was mad, bro, because... We was having more targets on our back, and he wasn't seeming like he was willing to help the guys with no, you know, what they was trying to get to, to, to produce evil. And he wasn't even trying to help them very white white. He ended up giving it, but they I don't think that they like how long it took, bro, to give it. And it's like, bro, you got bread now. And I know how we feel. He probably had a lot of people asking him and this and that, but bro, no man like that, bro. Cause they like you supposed to be one of the guys, bro. You not even really like, we old block, folks. Like, you by yourself ain't old block. We old block. You feel me? So it was some niggas that was probably thinking like folks don't think that. Like, he rich off of our work. Like, mind you, he ain't putting no, the name and all that, that gang, folks ain't do no nothing about that. And so the niggas that was actually out there stepping for that, they like, bro, we going to get down on you, bro. We the ones out here standing on these blocks doing all this dirt. And so they took it, they took it to heart like any nigga would. That's any dude, if you rapping, about a block, but you not feeding the block. But you keep wanting to come around and keep, yeah, man, uh. Bro, they gonna get down on you, bro. They gonna get down on you. So really, Sosa brought it upon himself because he wasn't feeding them what they thought. I don't think he was feeding the brothers, excuse me, at all. You saw what Vaughn got, he brought, brought a whole, I'm not saying that Sosa and Vaughn was the same, but Vaughn was more so one of the ones where like, I see why people love him so much. That's why I love him so dearly, because he, was influenced the wrong way. He did have that heart to want to kill, but like he looked out for his people, bro. He looked out for his people. For real, for real. So saying, do that. <clears throat> so is what you're saying is, w when he started getting cracking with with music and his shit started to blow up, the block became a lot more hot. <sighs> and then when shit started going down more often, he didn't want to help out. Yeah, he ain't want to help out. And the, and the bros, I think like the big bros, like they. You know me, I'm going to school. I don't really, I don't really care. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm happy that folks got the block hot. Like, you know, when back in the day, I'm like, man, everybody know us. That's all niggas be. But like now, nah, everybody know you. You a target. We don't be knowing this because we just want to be somebody, Cam. Not knowing that when you somebody in the world, nine times out of ten, you got a target on your back from somebody. 
But yeah, bro, it was literally all over that, man. Like, again, folks, so if you see this, folks, I ain't getting down on you, bro. You did what you did, my boy. Like, you know, he did what he did. Whatever he thought was best was what he did. And I ain't going to shoot a man down for that. Like, man, because that's what we all going to do. We going to run with what we think is best for our lives. So that's what he did. How do you feel about people saying that King Von would be, you know, in, included in this Rico case if he was alive? Man, they going to probably leave Von as the leader. <laughs> they probably would have named him as a leader because he's the most known. And whoever the most known, whoever got the most influence, them the leaders. That's what they was going to... I mean, do I think that it would have been wrong for them to do it? If I sat here and told you that it would have been wrong for them to do it, I'm a liar and the truth ain't in me. Man, they didn't go come get Vaughn. And they... Man, they was... Yeah, of course they was going to get him, bro. Because, again, he was the poster boy for O-Block. How you going to be the poster boy for a block and not be the first one that they come to get to take down. That don't make no sense. And so I don't really feel no way. Again, Cam, if we out here doing evil, then that's what you're going to receive. That's, your, that's going to be your recompense. If you go work a job for 40 hours, Cam, ain't you looking for 40 hours of pay? Yeah. So if I'm doing evil, how you going to think that you're going to receive? Uh, I mean, so may, I go to work for 20 hours. But I'm looking for 40 hours. You only work 20. They going to give you what you work for. If you want good, do good. Good to come back. But if you're doing evil and expecting to receive good, that don't make no sense. I'm killing people. I'm cursing people. Killing people in spirit is what you do when you cursing them, putting hexes on them. And how you think you're going to receive good from that? How are we going to think that Vaughn was going to receive good from the music that he was putting out? Nah, ain't no good going to come from it because it don't produce no good. Again, the power of life and death, for y'all that love drill music and kill music, the power of life and death is held between the tongue. That tongue, he said, they that love it will eat the fruit thereof. So if y'all like drill music, just know that death is on your way. If goodly, good things from God, uh, true spiritual freedom and understanding and wisdom, if that be your cup of tea, then you know life shall be what you gain. But many of y'all know y'all not with that God stuff. Because that's what y'all call it, that God stuff. Like, I ain't with that stuff. Like, God is just some stuff. Like, but that's how we treat them. That's how we treat them. Crazy. Did Chief Keith know Tuca? Uh, for Sosa for sure must have, uh, he had to, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he knew him, knew him like how I did. Cause like I used to be hanging with the people. Uh, I used to hang, I guess like his brothers and cousins a lot. I used to be in the house where his dad was. You feel me? I know the, uh, his dad had a baby by one of the brothers, uh, one of the brothers uh, OG. And um, so we used to go up there every so often. He used to be up there. Mind you, again, we wasn't into it like that, Cam, when they killed Tuca. We, I remember we used to be going over on St. Lawrence, play fighting them dudes. It wasn't as bad as it was until it till he died. And then it was like, yeah, it was it was up there. After after Tuca had passed away, then that's when a war really started. That was leading them. Okay. So so Tuca was kind of the 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 thing that really kind of sparked everything and 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 things started to get out of control at that point. Yeah, I mean, you ain't never know when they was coming looking for revenge. That's why I was out of control, because they had come slide two times. Nobody get hit. They not about to stop slide to somebody get hit till they see somebody on the news. Body for body. That's what they be, that's what we do in the hood. If one of our men die, bro, we got to at least go. If we can't get multiple, we at least leave one to make up for who we lost. That's that's what the game that they playing. You'd mentioned you would guys would go over there play fighting and hanging out, man. Yeah. You know. What was that kind of like when you couldn't do that no more and everything changed? Man, it was fun when it was, but when it changed, it wasn't a dramatic effect like that because we kind of like was putting more hate towards our heart. So like we don't want to go over there, but we, we want one of y'all to get caught up over here. It was just, you know, like, man, it's up there now. Like, you know, that's all it was. We on this side, we uh, coming together in our ignorance. They coming together in their ignorance. And so really it was like, if we going over that now, we going over there to put somebody down or, you know, to, to, to let them know who we are. Like, that's all it was. It wasn't, um, and, and, and it, you know, in the beginning, we still used to kind of like sneak over there, like a little bit. Cause you know, Jay Money got killed over there. He got killed on the block. 
over there trying to go to Mona Lisa crib. So like T Roy had like remember nigga they still was still like they the brothers the bros was still going up over there a little bit. Our females oh, no, no, no. What, was what, hanging what, with them. What happened with what happened with Jay Money? Oh Jay, uh, he was going to see Mona Lisa, and and man, you know she got that man set up. I don't care what no. Who's Mona Lisa? Well, let me not put that on her name. God forbid she did that. I hope she did, but. Most times it happened like that. She was Jay Money was going over there to visit his BM, and next thing you know, the ops knew exactly when he was coming, and they killed him right on her doorstep. And Prince Drayton was in the car. Dray was in the car, and I saw Dre, bro, and it was broke down. Like when I saw Dre, he was beat down. Like bro, they because they did it right in front of them, and mind you, he probably was terrified because like they could have looked at the car, tried to come, but yeah, they saw Jay Money. Um, I don't know if you know how people beat us, so they like we saw the whole time. You ain't see because when the shots blew, you duck. But then when they left, you looked up. But they saw what they saw, bro. Uh, uh, Dre did. I think it was only Dre in the car that I could remember. And man, yeah, man, it's just whack, bro. This this whole life, this whole everything that they got us. Having pride in it leads to our death. And this was in STL territory. Yeah, that was. I, yeah, that was over there in, on, um, over on their territory. Mind you, they got many blocks. So I, I don't know if it was directly STL, but they had Elbahar, STL. They got roads. They had a few different blocks. You feel me? And then make that hole you dig. You know how? Because they click up Jaro City. Then they had MOB. It's a lot. It's a lot. You know, they it was a lot. It's a lot of different. Uh, and they all close in proximity. That's just the thing that makes it dangerous. We all in close proximity where it's like you can see one of your ops on a bus. It's just up to you what you about to do in that situation. Because we did. It's only, the, it's only a couple. You can get on the three, the green line. What are the buses that's in our area? I mean, the 63rd that go lateral and the other one which go kind of, uh, uh, whatever, the variety, I can't even speak right now, but vertical. But uh, yeah, bro, close proximity, man. Uh, what it is, it'd be a misunderstanding. Satan loved to kill with misunderstandings. Well, when you misunderstand something, that's when, the, that's when he can be at play. And we misunderstand each other. I don't even know how, how it went from that, bro, but... I just remember, like, I think in 2009, that's when everybody started saying, like, we not fighting no more. We done fighting. We shooting. And they kept their word. For sure, they kept their word. But that was spoken first. Faith come by hearing. You see that? That was heard first. So everybody start out. Niggas ain't fighting no more. They shoot. Everybody. Niggas ain't fighting no more. They shoot. So guess what? And there weren't even no shots done. But that right there, that traveled through and there was a seed planted. So now there's no more fights. But there's only gunfights. But it came from the hearing first. Faith come by hearing. You don't know nobody said nothing bad about you until somebody came and told you. You ain't gonna think bad about them because you ain't never know nothing until somebody came and gave you faith by what you heard. It's crazy. Now you mentioned things changed when Tuka was killed. What do you think it was that made Vaughn turn up the way he did? I mean, we just be wanting to do evil. The word of God says that man hearts desperately you don't seeks think there to was be any evil. You don't think there was any specific situation that changed him? I mean, niggas going to say that because of somebody died, that that made them turn up. But I believe that it's a lie. But that's just me. Again, that's my spirit and what I believe, Cam. Because what I saw, I'm like, I got to get up out of this. But I guess to them. What they saw was like, I got to go get them. And I'm like, I'm spiritually like, bro, well, we did something to them. I don't think that went well with us. So we go back again. I don't think it's going to go well with us. But Vaughn did love us. He loved the guy so hard that for him, that could have been the case. That he loved people so much, his people, it was beneficial for him to go and lay other people down because of what they did to his people. So I, it had to, that had to be what Vaughn was on. Because that's when he really, really started hanging with the bros after O.D. died. And remind you, when O.D. died, he died on the death day of Tuca. They came and killed him the day next, the year around, the day that Tuca died. And then from that, a demon, uh, well, what Vaughn say, he said, well, why he got killed? I seen it. Oh, uh, that's what he say turned him to a demon when White White got killed. But he was, bro, them was already, and that, that could be true because when 
OD got got killed. We were kind of young. We were still kind of still babies and pampers on them. But you know, again, people probably was having having weapons on them, but they wasn't really using them. We just wanted to look cool, look tough, look gangster, and whatnot. But yeah, that that was a nine times that was his ordeal, man. That'd be a lot of people ordeal, bro, trying to get revenge for the people that they love. Now. Did you ever see anybody come to Old Block that you were just surprised they were there? Like, why is this dude here? Like an op or something? That came to Old Block. I mean, when Dirk first came to Old Block, like the first, 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 first time I seen him, I kind of marveled at the situation because, like, he was kind of known on. He was kind of known. Um, like you know, everybody knew Dirk because he rapped, and I just remember when he first came to the block. That eh, like they like he, this was before he was even rich. It, everybody was just kind of like they was like just you know I they was D riding like he was that nigga in the hood and I kind of marveled at that because I'm like I heard his name but I ain't even know the love that he had like that because he never was around. I've been around for years. I've been around the block. So the big bros know him. They probably went to school with him or however they were. Maybe I was so young. That when he was around, I didn't know it. I was running with the, the shorties. So, like, we don't really know what they doing. But, like, I still knew all the guys. I knew all the guys. Because I used to hang with them even when I was young, young. I used to go around them because, you know, they used to date my sisters. Some of them dated my sisters. Or they just be in the same atmosphere. But I'm trying to think, who, who was it that, like, some people that shouldn't have been? I mean, other than the day when M.O.B. was on the block, where we, we told that story a few times when they uh, did what they did to Baton and Oogie. I can't, I can't, I can't really say it was like nobody on the block that I felt like, cause we, bro, we ain't finna see nobody on the block and be like, oh, he ain't supposed to be over here and keep walking. So <laughs> what you think we would've did to somebody we know not supposed to be up over there? We would've jumped them if anything, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to kill nobody, but me, I was self-righteous. I just wanted to beat people up and so people wouldn't fight me. And that was my way of getting people not to try me. I'm knocking people out. You know, we all got something that we, uh, it's like a defensive mechanism. But now, nah, Cam, I can't, I can't say. I, I brought some dudes like ops on the block before. And I got a tour with the brothers, like, or whatever. Because they was clicked up with people that, you know, they was clicked up with like Duck and them. Uh, what's them? Welch World. And, you know, like the low end, and I brought some of them to the block. And the guys knew, so it was like, it was like, it wasn't really like the big guys, but it was kind of like the little guys. And it was deep. We were so deep out there, bro. And because, like, I wasn't, at that time, I was hanging with them. Because, again, like, I guess they was ops. But I was going to school with Cashon. And Cashon and, um... I can't even think of his name. He known from OBN, and it's my boy. It's crazy. I can't think of his name. I know they gonna be like, "What? You can't even remember, folks?" Scooter. It's my, I, I love. It. I don't care what nobody say, cause I don't care about no different doctrine. Boy, everybody is a person, and so I brought them to the block, man. You know me, and since so I brought them to the block, it was already in my my mind that if the bros tried to try them because they clicked up with the ops, I'm going, if we gonna die right here, I'm gonna die right here with them. Cause I brought them to the block and I told them like, nigga, when we come to the block, ain't nobody gonna try y'all bro. I'm, I'm folks, cause I was good in the hood, folks. Like I was good in the hood. And and so when, when we brought them there, it was one of the guys named TP. TP kind of gave me my name. And, and he's like, <laughs> TP a bug. He like, boy, why you bring them ops over? He like, he was mad. He like, nigga, why you got them ops? Why you got them ops on our block? Who out the band? And so he came, like, he kind of like, he kind of like put his face, kind of like touched me on my face. Night, night. I nigga, I knocked him clean out. I mean, I shouldn't even say it because I don't want folks to think that. I'm just telling the truth. I knocked folks clean out, like literally embarrassed them. And that whole, and then I started raging on like Ocho. I think I raged on Ocho because I was kind of, I was kind of still like mad at some of them because they had betrayed me about a female. You feel me? Kind of like you know how the boys is about a, a female. Um, and, and not, I don't want to get too much into that story, but I was still mad at some of the dudes like Ocho because I'm like, man, niggas don't be really loyal. They be loyal to a fault. And that's why I had to separate myself because it's like, I'm not finna die for no dudes that really don't even love me. That's all the hood is. You preparing to die for a gang of people? Them niggas be talking about you behind your back. Like, at least they talked about me and whatnot, but yeah, man, that was like my one little situation. 
uh, luckily, well, I don't really, luck ain't real or whatnot, but, you know, blessed be me that I ain't, the guy, the big guys ain't, ain't move in on, on, on me because of that. Because, like, I went against one of the brothers. For them, but niggas was scared of me. That's the whole ordeal. They didn't want to fight me. You 20 some years old, you get knocked out by a nigga 16 years old, they don't want that. And I, and I was a problem on the hand side that they told them like, bro, after I did that to TP, they told me like, huh, bro, if you keep knocking people out, if you keep trying to fight people, bro, we not fighting you, we gonna kill you. That's what the guy straight up told me. I'm like, yeah, I got to get up out this hood. People keep telling me that I'm the hate for one. No, we fight. If you beat me up, I take my L. I ain't finna try to kill you. I beat a nigga up, now you wanna kill me. Stop it. So somebody told you that if you kept beating people up that you were going to be killed. The big guy straight told me that. Eventually, somebody wasn't going to put up with being beat up. Yeah. Because, you know, people be butthurt. Everybody gangster. Everybody, ah, until they get embarrassed. And now they want to kill you because you've embarrassed them. And that's what bro was saying. And, and he had a gun on him. Blessed be the most high that he did do it. And I knew he had it because of how he was walking. And like, you know, when he was walking up on me, and then, I mean, I gotta say, Top gave him the gun. This is why I don't like him. This is why I don't like him. And uh, whatever gonna happen, gonna happen, but like that nigga Top is a problem. So <laughs> I'll let the most I do what he do. Uh, just, just, <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much, but in all actuality, folk, it be, it be the bigger dudes, the older dudes in the hood that are secretly put other niggas against other people that's amongst them, cause they like they just they evil like that. He gay. How you gonna get TP a gun to kill me? Cause he saw me as a threat. I was hitting who I was young, dirty, ain't had nothing. I'm I'm laying down. I shouldn't have been. I was laying down with who he wanted to lay down. So it would have been easy for him to get at the folks. Folks laid me down nine times. Not all. And then the thing was, if 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 so if Solo would have killed me, he was going to jail cause he would have killed me right in front of my house and everybody know you when you going to jail. But so he was willing to lose too. I ain't gonna say it was about uh, her, but I just remember he used to stay sneak dissing me to her. They called her sneak dissing me. She right there showing me all of it. Look what Top said about you. I'm like, man, dang, I thought that was big bro. But you, why you with Jamal? He dirty, he this and that. I'm like, felt like, I, I ain't got nobody to take care of me, for. My situation was what it was. But now, nah, bro, them niggas all evil. Them niggas ain't got no loyal bone in their body at all. They have no loyal bone in their body. If you can't be loyal to God, don't, don't expect them niggas to be loyal to you. Because when the price is right, they going to get you out of that. Like, with well, HK and Mac, I don't know what happened. All I know it was a bunch of... It, it had to be some sort of like, man, I can't, I can't pinpoint it. I don't want to too talk on it. But all I, all, all I know is our people snakes. Our people are snakes. It's been plenty of time O Block shot niggas that we were supposed to be clicked up with. Y'all know it. Evil. Evil. We clicked up with these niggas. They supposed to be our brothers. And because of a little dispute, niggas are going to snake them. Ain't nobody got no love in these hoods. And I'm going to expose it. And you can do it to me what you want. Jamal going to rise again. <laughs> like, like Abba did. But other than that, man, yeah, this is the situation that we got in the hoods. Bunch of, uh, I love you, bro. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Real. Man. Okay. Well, um, you know, I thought I thought I'd hit you with some current events, man. I'm, I'm sure you've seen the news about Diddy. P. Diddy? Being, being sued, and then, you know, they with his ex-girlfriend, Casey, and then they, the next day, settled the case. You know, did you have a chance to check that out at all? No, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't look into none of what they be having to do, Cam. I every time you ask me about these people, I'm gonna tell you the same answer. I don't care, honestly, because I ain't benefiting. God said, "What profit the righteous, the fellowship with unrighteousness?" Like I ain't walking with that. I don't care. I I despise everything that they that they be saying to these people. Don't nobody care about that. Show me something of, of, of show me the people coming together in Christ. Because if they not coming together in Christ, then they still coming together in death. He the only, he the way, the truth, and the life. And ain't nobody going to have peace. Ain't nobody getting to the heavens. Ain't nobody going to have serenity, joy. And you ain't got no hope if it ain't in Christ. Period. No matter what we think. Mm. All right, man. Well, another dope interview. Man, hopefully somebody getting inspired to not. Again, you, we walk with them in the spirit and then outwardly 
you walk with them. But you got to agree with it first. Again, things happen spiritually before they happen in the carnal. Like, you ain't going to masturbate. Just going to ma You thought about it. Then you did it. That's spiritual. So that right there shows that we spiritual beings over carnal beings because everything happened in the mind. Before it happened and before you produce it in the, in the, in the flesh. But so, man, go let Christ, man, circumcise that heart, man, and build you up. All right. That's what it is, man. All right, Jay Hood, I appreciate you. Hey, love, big bro. Love. All right, bro. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.